going on everybody i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it if you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back guys i don't know if you can hear in the background it's cars beeping it's hysteria outside they got people with leaf blowers i can't control that but the train don't stop rolling on this channel so we're gonna ride with it you know what i'm saying listen yesterday in uh chapel hill, chapel hill north carolina home of the North Carolina Tar Heels, on their campus, University of North Carolina campus, there was a shooting. And sadly, one person has lost his life and uh, another person is in custody. But what's strange about this whole situation is both of the guys, you know, worked at the college and they were like part of the faculty. Another thing is that's odd is both of them was Asian dudes that had beef going. Now, I don't know what it was about, but I'm going to play this small video clip that identifies the victim because a lot of people seen the suspect yesterday and his name, he's pictured here. His name is Tai Lee Chi and he's part of the faculty there. And this guy has a very impressive resume, but I'm going to show you a little bit about the uh, victim whose name is Ji Shi Yan. He's pictured here. And he was the one that was shot and killed by Mr. Chi. So let me play this video about him and then we'll come back and talk about this a little bit. And we are following breaking news here in the WRAL Live Center. We have a lot of new information to tell you on the UNC deadly shooting. So we just got court paperwork on the suspected shooter, Tai Lei Chi. He is 34 years old. He's just been charged of first degree murder and bringing a gun on educational property. That court paperwork that we got this morning confirms the name of the victim. It is Zi Jie Yan. And Zi Jie Yan is an educator at the University of North Carolina and the suspect, Chi, worked closely with Yan's research group at UNC. We understand that Yan was Chi's faculty advisor. And this is a picture of Yan. His work focused on something called optical tweezers, a process using light that could help develop advanced nanorobots within cells. And Yan's official page on UNC site says he was a PhD and he joined the faculty at the university's department of applied physical sciences in 2019. We're continuing to learn more about the victim who was killed in yesterday's deadly shooting, as well as the accused shooter. Keep following for developments here in the WRL Life Center. All right, guys, that was a uh, short video about the shooting victim whose name is uh, Zhi Shi Yan. It's hard for me to pronounce these names, but, um, it's a lot of motives like they, they don't really have a motive of why this is done. I've been searching the web and yesterday I was going to report on this early, but I didn't want to wait a little bit until details came out because I noticed with a lot of these mass shootings, sometimes the particulars are all over the place and you could make one video and then it'd be totally wrong and then you got to go back and do it again. So I just wanted to wait a little bit. But honestly, guys, this whole situation, as far as motive, Nobody knows. But one thing to me that stood out was the shooting victim, Mr. Yan. He's uh, the shooter's facility, yet yeah, faculty advisor, meaning he advises him on, I guess, different things as far as what they do. I guess he's his boss. So. Honestly, me, I just think it was a beef between two men. They're both educated. One got there in 2019 on the campus. Other one got there in 2022. Differences in opinion and approach towards different things. Because, I mean, let's be honest. These, both, these guys were both very intelligent men. A lot of times when you have a lot of people that, that are intelligent like that, you know, egos grow and heads bump. And that's any job. But I mean, as far as what happened with this, I, I don't know. I just think it just stems from something to where they were colleagues somewhat, and it was just a battle of wills. And Mr. Uh, Chi got to the point where he couldn't take it. Or, see, a lot, a lot of times this too, these guys are working on projects, right? And they may be working on projects 
that they, they want to get funding for and may not get the funding because the other person might think the project that they're working on is messed up. Thinking of it that way, honestly, I think it was more of as far as where money had went. And this is just me thinking about this. Set, of course, remember, the faculty advisor was working on a project, too. And these people be working on these projects. A lot of times they be doing inventions that can wind up getting patented and can wind up turning into something else. You know, these are geniuses and stuff. Maybe the funding that Mr. Chi wanted, he didn't get the amount he wanted or he didn't get it at all because the faculty advisor was using it for his own benefit, too. Nobody knows. But what's messed up is this one guy did and another one in jail and he was bright, brilliant minds. I don't know what puts people to these situations where they lose their mind and do all this stuff. Because when I first heard about the shooting, I was like, oh, God, oh, God, you know, we just had the situation with that racially. That racial shooting out there in Florida, which is messed up. I got another video coming out about that. And then this follows right behind it. It kind of puts your mind in a place like, OK, what is this starting to be like an epidemic where people are just starting to do this? You know, one after the other, because, you know, crimes like this are usually copycats. But. Whatever it was, it was so bad that this man. Figured he would go for broke and take a gun. To an institute of higher learning to take somebody's life, man. Think about that. I mean, that got to be supreme. I mean, high, high end anger to where you're willing to risk it all. And this guy right here made a lot of achievements in his life. Went to school in China, came over here, got degrees over here, excelled in the top schools over here. You know, as far as like institutes of learning to get where he is and just to throw that away because you get angry or somebody knocks you up your square, man, it is never worth it. It's never worth it. And this should be a lesson to anybody. It don't matter what position you are or who you are. Anger can overtake you at any given time and make you lose everything you ever worked for. I'm sure right now this man, Mr. Chi, is having regrets because after the anger and everything subsides and you come back down to reality, you're in a whole different place that you're unfamiliar with. This man in jail, the guy he killed is gone, families are hurt, and lives are messed up. I mean, whatever they was working on could have been beneficial to all of us. We never know. You know, that's what I said, like violence is crazy because it, t it takes away a lot of potential and a lot of change that could have been made for the betterment of everybody. And we'll never know now all because of some anger. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. I'm I'm only glad I'm glad only one person was hurt. And this is an isolated incident. So it ain't no reason to blow this thing up and say it's crazy. This is just a beef between two dudes, two Chinese dudes. It's just beef. I'm going to tell you, you know, Chinese people are proud, man. They're proud of their achievements. They're very proud people. Maybe it was a disrespect thing. Or he thought me, he had to feel he was disrespected to do that. But leave me a comment, man. Tell me what y'all think. It's unfortunate that Mr. Yan had to go and Mr. Cheese in jail. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Stockmark Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys be good out there.